Hello everybody, welcome back to Screen Stars. I'm here today to review the 2018 science fiction movie The Titan that stars Sam Worthington and Tom Wilkinson. And this is the second science fiction movie in a week that's left me disappointed. First being Pacific Rim. And this, oh my god, nothing happens in this movie. I'm really, really a bit gutted about this because I saw the trailer a few months ago um, and I thought the premise of it looked pretty interesting and I thought maybe the trailer was holding back and that's why they didn't show an awful lot. No, unfortunately that's not the case. They didn't show an awful lot in the trailer because there's not an awful lot happens in the movie, unfortunately. And for those that want to watch this movie and you're interested the basic premise of this story is we have Sam Worthington's character um, he's set in the future 2048 I think and his character um, his wife and son move with him to some kind of military base as he has basically been chosen to take part in a project the Titan project and essentially what this is is the planet is doomed it's got about 15 years left before you know if half the population starves and basically it's doomed as it always tends to be in movies <laughs> and this titan project wants to create the superhumans who can go to titan which is a moon off saturn or something that is it's the only place in our solar system that system that's got atmosphere but we will have to adapt to live there and change and evolve ourselves so he signs up as well as about a dozen other military folk military people specialists they sign up uh, for this project in the hope to go to titan and evolve the human species if you like <laughs> and that's the premise of this story um now like I say, it's just bloody boring, this movie. There's nothing happens. I, I was watching it and I was like 60 minutes in and I'm like, I remember looking how long I've been watching it for, 60 minutes, and no, nothing had happened of, of, it, of, of consequence, really. There were lots of sitting around in pools because one of the special abilities that they get is they can stay underwater for huge amounts of time. They don't feel cold and stuff, so... You get lots of scenes of him sat at the bottom of pools staring at stuff. Which really starts getting on your nerves, I can tell you. Um, however, I did think it was an interesting premise, this. And I, I do think they've missed an opportunity. At one point, I even thought this would actually make a pretty decent origin story for some kind of superhero or something. Um, if they just, you know, added a bit of action. <laughs> um and ultimately Tom Wilkinson what does he usually play in movies and yes you're right he does the same thing in this movie you, you could trust him about as far as you could throw him really couldn't you let's be honest um, and this film is just a bit of a mess it's it's poorly written there's stuff in it that drive your pot in I'm going to give you some examples here they go to this top secret um, experiment place military base and his wife seems surprised that they're under surveillance. Really? I'd be surprised if I wasn't under surveillance. Um, there's a scene where they warn you at the beginning of the movie that he's going to get sick and stuff. So he's sick in the toilet and his wife's getting worried by this point and she takes swabs to test it. And then the next thing you see, she's in a lab testing it. How did she get in this lab? She's not one of the scientists, she's just the wife of Sam Worthington. How did she get in this lab in this top secret base to check it, even though she is medically trained? Stupid, 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 stupid. Um, it felt like there were parts of the movie missing. Poorly, either poorly edited or they just didn't film them. Um, and every time you think something cool is going to happen, it kind of shifts to something else. And it just kind of like, bizarre things really I thought Tom Wilkinson was pretty upfront at the beginning he basically said especially to the wife he's going to go through hell on this program it's not going to be easy blah 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 we're going to change him you know because he's got to live on Titan and and then when it starts happening she seems surprised by all these changes 
Um, there's and at one point in the movie when he does undergo a massive change, some bizarre procedure he goes through. He's lost his vocal cord somewhere. He doesn't speak for the last twenty minutes of the movie. Twenty five minutes. Um, and also, I don't understand the premise of this movie. Is the idea to change us all into these creatures, these evolved humans, and send us up to Titan, or are they going to send all these people up to Titan to make it livable? It never really made it clear. This film, unfortunately, guys, is a bit of a jumbled mess. Dumb things happen in it, just for storytelling purposes, and unfortunately, the action they give you is so scarce, it's not even worth calling it action. Ultimately, this is a bit of a disappointing movie, guys. I would give it a miss, personally. It's not that good.